Won't it get off? Like, what about washing? What if you get under the rain? I often get such comments and especially comment about rain always makes me smile. And actually this is the biggest myth in painting on clothes, that fabric paints will get off, that hand paint clothes are not washable. Well, as an artist and as a clothes customizer who customized more than 1000 pieces of clothing, I can say for sure that if you choose good quality fabric paints, your hand paint clothes will survive many, many, many washings. But in this video I decided to do something I've never done before. I decided to make an extreme water test. And this time even I'm not sure that paint won't get off. I'm gonna customize my swimsuit and then I'm gonna swim in it. And let's see, was it a bad idea or no? I'm Daria and welcome back to Art Fashion Channel. So why I'm not sure that paint won't get off? Uh, because swimsuit is not a basic clothing for customization, it's not a cotton clothing, it's a nylon clothing and it's also very stretchy, so not only there's a risk that paint will get off, but also there's a risk that paint will crack. But you know, I believe in fabric paints which I use, because I used them for all kinds of fabrics, for leather, for puffer jackets, for knitted fabrics, so I believe that they will survive anything, even such extreme conditions like nylon put in a sea water. <laughs> and here is swimsuit which I'm gonna customize, a black swimsuit. And as you can see, there's already lines of chuck because I decided to wear first swimsuit and then mark uh, where I'm gonna place uh, my design. And as it is very stretchy, uh, to paint on it, I need to stretch it out uh, to make it normal size, like size of my body. So my mannequin is going to be very helpful uh, because I can wear swimsuit on my mannequin and then it will be very comfortable for me to paint on this swimsuit. And here is design, what I'm gonna paint on my swimsuit. I decided to go with the tattoo inspired design. I'm gonna explain why later. So it's a knife with the roses and snakes. And I'm using chalk to sketch out my design. And you know why I decided to paint on a black swimsuit? Uh, because uh, I can use chalk to sketch out design. I can use piece of soap, but on white swimsuit i don't know probably i could use some soft pencil but uh, it's much easier to paint draw on black swimsuit because i can use chalk or piece of soap and it's so easy to erase lines if you want with water And I'm gonna use just one color, um, fabric paint of brand Pebeo. Uh, is my design is gonna be white. And I decided to go with a tattoo inspired design because I decided to create a graphic design. And why I decided to create a graphic design? Because when you paint on stretchy fabric, the main rule is that you can apply one or maximum two layers of paint. Because if you apply more than two layers of paint, your artwork will definitely crack because you will constantly stretch it out. So the rule is use as less paint as possible. So graphic designs aren't very complicated. You can make them with one, two layers of paint. So that is the right choice for such stretchy fabrics. As I'm painting on black fabric, I need to apply at least two layers of paint because black fabric absorbs color, so to create such bright white color, I need to apply two layers of paint. But can you create colorful designs on such black stretchy fabrics? Yes, you can, but again, first layer will be white layer, base layer for your color, and second layer, uh, the color you wish. Thank you. 
And now I'm sketching out snakes. It's gonna be two symmetrical snakes on the both sides of swimsuit. Uh, not only snakes look so cool on clothes, but also it's so easy to create a composition with them or to highlight some shape. So painting on nylon fabrics with fabric paints. I often get comments like can I paint on some leggings or puffer jackets on some nylon fabrics. Yes, you can, but you need to find right fabric paints because some fabric paints are suitable only for cotton or mix of cotton and polyester, but up to 30% of polyester. So not all fabric paints will survive on <laughs> such clothes. So you need to find the right fabric paints. For example, fabric paints, which I use, Pebel fabric paints. I use them for leather, I use them for nylon, and from my experience I can say that they work on all kinds of fabrics. And not only it's important to find the right fabric paints, but also it's important to choose the right design. Because if on denim jacket, for example, you can create very very complicated realistic artwork, like using five, six layers of paint, but on such nylon fabrics, uh, like the best choice is graphic simple designs using one to maximum three layers of paint if it's not very stretchy fabric. And on the back I decided to create calligraphy because I thought that calligraphy will complete design and um, I'm writing art uh, and let's see will the art survive or no at the end of the video. How to fix paints on the fabrics which you can't iron using hair dryer. And this is the result. And I hope it won't get lost in the sea. <laughs> So I'm at the beach right now, I'm wearing my hand painted swimsuit and it's time to test it out. <laughs> Art is sinking under water. <laughs> and even though it's an early morning and I was hoping that beach will be lonely, but there is still some people and some of them definitely noticed that I'm wearing very interesting swimsuit and I'm making video. So yeah, I definitely got attention. So you can feel my embarrassment that if I get out of the water without artwork, it won't look nice. <laughs> And I began to feel very anxious because it's actually the first time I'm making video outside and it's not a simple video, it's a video with unexpected result. So yeah, I began to feel very very anxious. And here I'm trying to understand the situation down there. <laughs> well, the artwork is still there, but I'm not sure that it's not in the process of getting off. And then I start to think that maybe I should get out of the water now to stop all this because anxiety hit me hard. <laughs> but then I decide like whatever, I will swim for 10 minutes more. I need to make this video properly to see, to test <laughs> fabric paints as I promised you at the title of the video. And I think the time has come. Well, I've been swimming for like 15 minutes and the artwork is still here, as you can see. Like, I don't see any damages. I hope it won't get off later, like at home. But now, it's just untouched. <laughs> And 
here is swimsuit. After swimming, I rinsed it in a warm water and dried it under the sun. As you can see, the artwork is still here. I don't see any damages. And as I can say from my experience, that if your artwork didn't get off after first washing, after first connection with water, you can be sure that your artwork is there permanently and you can enjoy it and wash your clothing many, many, many times. Well guys, if you watched this video and if you want to write a comment like I painted my clothes and paint got off, here is why. There are two reasons why your paints could get off. First of all, you used wrong paint, maybe you used acrylic paints, maybe you used oil paints or maybe you used very bad quality fabric paints. Another reason is that you made some mistake in the process and I have a lot of educational videos on my channel where I explain biggest mistakes beginners make, where I show the right process of painting. Please check them out, I put links in the description below. And I hope guys you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button to support my art, your support means everything for me and I hope to see you next time. Fashion is art, bye bye!